What's up, Nashville? I'm Elisa, and I'm here inside Christ Presbyterian Academy's Soli Deo Center to announce a production that is the first of its kind in Middle Tennessee. CPA Arts and a professional theater company, Studio 10, have collaborated to bring the amazing classic The Sound of Music to our Soli Deo Center stage from June 22nd to July 16th. The cast and crew feature 17 current CPA students, two CPA alumni, and two CPA staff members, including our very own John Mark Magaha as Captain Von Trapp. He will be joined by Broadway leading lady, Lara Valdir as Maria, and an amazing supporting cast of local and New York-based actors. We hope you will come sing along with us this summer and enjoy the sound of music. Hi, Emily, thank you so much for sitting down with me. What has been like one of your favorite moments of getting to direct this show? Watching all the kids come into the first day of rehearsal was so cute. They are doing such a great job and it's a wonderful cast and just being able to see them around professionals and these, these Broadway actors is just really awesome and they have really risen to the occasion. They're now being able to watch these seasoned professionals and these actors and how how we go through a script and how we go through a scene and unpack it or block it and watching the professional actors and their approach to these roles and how prepared they are and how off book they are. And so seeing CPA and Studio 10 come together in this production, in this beautiful theater has been just, it's been wonderful. The Sound of Music has been my favorite musical since I was a kid. I'm playing Captain Von Trapp. He's learning how to do life in the midst of all that's going on uh, in Austria as it relates to Germany and the rise of um, the Third Reich. And so you meet him in this very uh, stern mode, trying to manage all of those things. And in comes this anomaly <laughs> named Maria, who kind of blows everything up in the most beautiful way. So I'm playing Luisa, who is one of the Von Trapp children. and. She's a little playful, she's a little mischievous, but she just loves to have fun and have a good time. So what has been like one of your favorite moments of like the rehearsal process or getting to work with all the kids? I think yesterday when we had our stumble through, I think just like piecing it together and being able to see like everyone in one room, we had seen like little bits of things, but like seeing it together and we got to hear the nuns sing and they were just like, it was heavenly, like they sounded like angels. It's such an amazing show and I think it's such a celebration of music and I think that we all have a love of music and it's so powerful because it's a language that connects to people all across the world because it moves people. Getting to share that with people is such a gift. What is one of your favorite songs or maybe scenes in this show that you're not just loving to getting direct but get to see portrayed on this stage? Yeah, that's a great question. I I love this show so much. It has really become very near and dear to my heart. For example, in the stage version of The Sound of Music, Elsa and Max have a lot more in their scenes and they have songs and you get to know their characters a lot more. And then of course, just the Captain and Maria and their love story. I just directed it in rehearsal today and watching this these characters that have so much backstory come together and fall in love and heal through music is just a really beautiful thing. You know, you learn all these things about driving and you take the test and you study this and you learn this, but you know, when you put the car out on the road, that's when like the real education mm -hmm. starts to happen. Where else in the world can high school and middle school students work with Broadway performers in a professional theater company? I never could have dreamed this up. It is also my kid's favorite musical, so we burst into like remixed renditions of Doa Deer like <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so this is like the best up until yesterday. Like I had never seen like Liesl and Rolf, and we were, we were all on stage just like with our jaws on the floor watching these amazing dancers and singers. Um, the children, the nuns are literally just like, they sound like an angelic chorus. My youngest child, who's six, and my oldest, who's 11, they are both in the show as Gretel and Kurt in the Do Re Mi cast. I mean, they're working eight hour days, I mean, and, um, and loving it, and they're meeting so many amazing kids and amazing adults and performers, Lori, um, Valdir, who was playing Maria, just absolutely amazing. Whether you're a child, whether you're, you know, a parent in some phase of life, from, you know, 16 going on 17 to Gretel, you know, being, you know, five and six years old. And so there's literally something for everybody in this show. So I think everybody should come to this. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sitting down with me. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Me, yeah. it's going to be amazing. Yeah, I can't wait.